Hi Virgo, welcome to your spirit guide messages for the month of December. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So we're going to look at what spirit wants you to know at this time. Um, it is dated for December, but I do consider all my readings timeless on my channel. So you can check the description box below for times, um, playlist, links to playlists for Virgo readings. So if you'd like to check out my channel and watch past playlists, please feel free. I do consider them all timeless. So let's see what spirit wants you to know, Virgo. I'm going to say at this time. So let's see what we have here. Welcome in. Welcome everybody. Um, welcome Virgo. Merry Christmas. Happy December. Can you believe we're in December already? So I'm going to pull three oracles from each deck and then we're going to clarify each message with a um, tarot card to get a little bit um, more clarity on the message for you. Let's see what you need to know at this time from Spirit. All right, and you can check the description box below for the decks I'm using. Uh, tons of information down there, how to reach out for personal reading, social media links, tons of stuff down there. I do um, separate readings on Instagram also. Okay, so let's see for Virgo what spirit wants you to know this time for Virgo. Let's see, we get three out of this deck, and then we'll go over your messages, and then we'll clarify with tarot. All right, Virgo, 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 what does spirit want you to know at this time? Three cards for Virgo, please. One, two, one more. One more. That's two, but I guess this one. All right, let's see what we have for Virgo. Virgo, let's see what we have. So we have Spring Equinox. This has been coming out for almost every sign. <laughs> Rebirth. So something here, uh, transforming, transpiring, uh, growing, expanding, I feel, in the spring. I feel like spring is going to be a very good time for everybody. I think things are going to expand, grow, flourish. Things are going to um, really take off in the spring. Um, just new things coming in or just things getting better in the springtime. We have Dragonfly, Emergence. And we have a Full Moon Completion. So there may be a completion coming up for you in the springtime. Some sort of, it could be a karmic completion. It could be anything. It could be a relationship, you know, ending a job. You could be moving, but something coming to completion. And I feel like around the springtime, or it could be, you know, during the winter time, you know, and as things progress, it gives you like a whole new lease on life, a whole new like rebirth, a trans transformational period where you're going to emerge here in the springtime as like this whole new person. Wow. Okay. You know, an emergence is, is kind of like, um, you know, it's like emerging. So like a butterfly emerges out of their cocoon, you know? So if you've been like in a murky time, if you've been kind of secluded, you know, I feel like things are going to emerge for you in the springtime. But I think maybe something may need to complete first. And then I see things really like emerging and rebirthing for you coming up through, you know, in the springtime. So it's a good energy. All right. So let's see. We have Akasha. Your guidance is divinely guided. So it's about the Akashic records. So if you don't know anything about the Akashic records, it's sort of like the universe. Um, it's the record keeper of everything on the planet. So, um, whatever you're going through, whatever, you know, cycle you go, I feel like you go through a cycle and you'll be emerging like a butterfly in the springtime, but whatever you're going through now, if it's a challenge, if it's a blessing, whatever here, it's meant to be, it's on your path for a reason. So the universe here, uh, knows the Akashic plan for everybody. So, so let's see here. We have deep replenishment, retreat, rest, be held. So, you know, and I do see this kind of reminds me, even though it's underwater, kind of like a winter 
just kind of remind me of snow here. So maybe, you know, in this winter time, you're going through this completion where now you can like take care of yourself, you can uh, replenish, you can, you know, rejuvenate kind of energy. I feel like through the winter time as something completes for you and then in the spring emerging as like a whole new person. And this is divinely guided. Whatever this is for you, it's divinely guided. So we have here, share your voice, come out of the cave, persecution, expression. So if you've been through a dark time here, because I do see, um, you know, the darkness here. So, and kind of dark around this full moon energy. So if it was a dark time for you, maybe now as you're re-emerging, emerging in the springtime, whole new, you know, lease on life, whole new way of living or whatever it may be. Maybe you'll become an advocate or something like that or share your knowledge, share your advice, share your whatever you've been through with other people, um, expressing yourself, telling your story kind of energy, whatever your situation was for you. I feel like you'd be much stronger and uh, very transformational energy here, like really standing firm and tall now like this tree. All right, let's see what we have here. Love, love is the foundation of your existence as you're just as worthy as receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it's equally a form of energy that propels you through life. So I feel like having this new self-love for yourself, you know, compassion, love, forgiveness, not with only yourself, but maybe others around you, having peace and harmony, as whatever it is you're cycling through here. And I see things just getting better come like the springtime. That makes sense for some of you. Then we have self-sabotage. When you learn to let to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. Most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals. It's that inner voice that derails you, derails those carefully woven plans. So... Just be careful, um, whatever you're going through, not to get in like a negative mind space that you can keep going through this, through uh, positive energy, as long as you stay in a high vibration, that self-love, that self-value and worth kind of energy. And then we have vulnerability. This is confirmation that you are seeking to tread into the unknown, unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that that misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. So again, with the dark energy here, I feel like you've been, you're going through a dark time now or um, something like that. And I feel like it's almost at the completion. It's almost there. And I feel by springtime is when uh, all this is just going to like open up for you. That makes sense for some of you. And you may be going into unknown territory. You may be, you know, being single or getting a new job or a whole new way of living or moving or whatever here, whatever it is for you. You know, you may be a little scared and that may be that self-sabotage. Like, well, maybe I can't do this. Maybe I shouldn't do that. But Spirit's like, no, you know, stand tall, stand strong like this tree and have that self-value, worth, and love that you can move forward that this all is divinely guided for you. Wow. It's kind of like all combining into one big message. Sometimes that happens when it all kind of all falls into one message. Sometimes it's separate messages. So take how it resonates for you. Um, and if you look at the cards, you get different meanings for you, then that's totally fine. Okay. So let's get some tarot on this. Virgo, I do ask Virgo, if you're new and you like my reading, my style, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. Love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. I do four readings a month. They're all different. I do bonus readings. I think I'll be doing a elemental bonus reading for all the signs for what's coming in 2020. So if you're interested in all that, hit the bell. And um, once you subscribe, you'll be notified and you won't miss out on any readings. And again, you can check the description box below how to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media. Thank you to everybody who supported me in the channel in whichever way that was. If you've you know purchased a reading or if you uh, supported by donating or anything like that, it's truly appreciated. 
and I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you so much. So let's see what your overall energy. So this is uh, Nine of Cups. This is about wishes and dreams coming true, happiness and joy and fulfillment. But it's also about overindulgent, like getting your wishes, your dreams, your fulfillment, but then like overindulgence. So just be careful of that um, energy that you don't become like overconfident, over cocky, overindulgent, you know, as you're moving forward, kind of stay in like a balanced um, kind of energy. So let's see what this rebirth is about for the springtime. The chariot. So yeah, moving forward. A lot of drive, ambi ambition, um, reaching your goals, reaching your destiny, being very successful and balanced. Again, I had said that to remain balanced through through this completion, which you will be successful here with the chariot, not to get an overindulgent indul energy to stay balanced here as you're moving forward through this transition, through this time. And I just see things becoming so much better for you probably around the time of the spring equinox. Things moving forward in a better direction. So we have here emergence. Oh, so we have the five of pentacles in reverse. So I don't even know how they got reversed, but yeah, this is like coming out of a completion here. So five of pentacles can talk of, you know, being left out in the cold, abandonment, loneliness, neglect. So no more feeling in that energy. Now you're coming out of that energy. You're emerging even stronger. No more of being neglected and lonely and left out in the cold. You know, if this is, you know, leaving a relationship, uh, maybe it was toxic or something like that. Maybe you were uh, neglected or whatever here. Now you're emerging all the more stronger, confident out of this um, energy. And I had said going through this transition in the winter time, and here is, you know, snow, winter energy. So, yeah, emerging out of that energy, I feel definitely during uh, the spring, springtime here as things complete for you. And we have completion, the page of wands. So... This is like good news coming in that whatever news you're waiting on about a completion or a finalization or whatever here, this is good news coming in communication. So whatever you're waiting for, whatever news or messages or whatever it is coming in, it is good news and it will be the completion of this cycle. Wow. Okay. So only you know what that is for you, but just know it's good news, so it will be good. Your guidance is divinely guided. And here we have the Six of Swords. So you are being divinely guided, always going in the right direction. You know, spirit, universal energies is really trying to always point you in the right direction. Just needing to pay attention to that because the Six of Swords is about going in a more healing, balanced, peaceful calmer place and leaving all the BS behind. So I really feel like this is a, I feel like one big message, like really leaving what was no longer serving you and going in a much, much better direction here. Clear thinking, um, and just going to peace and harmony and divinely guided swords is always like divinely guided energy to me anyway. So, yep. Wow. All right. So what do we have here? Deep, Deep replenishment, retreat, rest, be held. And we have the three of pentacles. So the three of pentacles is about working, mastering your craft, working with others. Um, it's like, looks like this man has mastered his craft already. You know, he's um, compromised. He's done, you know, the teamwork to learn. So now, you know, maybe you've learned your craft, you learned your lessons, and now it's time to retreat, rest, and be held. So however that means for you, uh, whatever you tried to work on, you know, you tried and you tried, and now it's like, you know, I'm just going to rest, retreat, and uh, be held by friends, family, you know, universal energies here, taking care of yourself after, you know, working or whatever here. All right, so let's see here. So share your voice, come out of the cave, persecution expression. So I feel like this is the wheel of fortune. So this is divine timing, fate, destiny. Um, and it does say over here on Akasha, your guidance divinely guided. And this is divinely guided energy with the wheel of fortune. Things are meant to be, things going in a better direction. 
we have all positive energy so far <laughs> moving forward in a better direction. So share your voice. I feel by, you know, the end of the cycle, if you feel like you need to get out there and share your experiences, ex share your voice, it's only going to turn this wheel and lead you and guide you in a, in a much better direction. Fate, destiny on your side, fame, fortune, whatever here, things just going in a positive direction for you. I feel like by standing up and sharing your voice, whether it's just with friends, family, um, people you feel that need, you know, your, your experience, your advice, your help, you know, reaching out and helping in some way. All right. So love and we have the emperor. So it could be emperor, empress, doesn't matter, male, female. But this is, you know, someone who stands in their value, their worth. They know who they are. Uh, then not afraid to take lead, take the charge. They totally, totally know who they are. So this is telling you to be in that self-worth value, that self-love. Um, know who you are. Stand tall, proud, and true to who you are. Kind of energy with the emperor and the empress. So don't be afraid to take the lead, take control, do what you need to do for you. What's best for you. And we have self-sabotage. So this is about um, three cups, about re reuniting, rejoicing, celebrating, having a good time. So when you start to get in that negative mind space of I, maybe I can't do this, maybe it's not meant for me, maybe I shouldn't do it, maybe I should just stay stuck or stay where I am, maybe you know this isn't a good idea. Whatever negative talk that would self-sabotage you out of this divinely guided energy here, to get out of that energy... Go spend time with friends, family. Go out and have a good time. Get your mind off it. Celebrate. Have a few drinks. You know, dance. Whatever here. Try to raise your vibration from that low negative energy to a high negative energy. So I think that's what Spirit wants you to know with that. All right. So now we have vulnerability. This is confirmation you're seeking, you know, about going. So this is patiently waiting, the three of wands, about, you know, you see your your sights out in the distance, you know where you're going, what you want to do. May not be the right time yet, so you're patiently waiting for the right time. Um, so, you know, feeling vulnerable, you know, looking out to the distance, knowing, okay, this is the direction I'm going in. I'm a little bit scared. Um, you know, maybe you're waiting, you're being patient. For some reason for the right time or waiting for this completion you're feeling a little bit vulnerable but spirit is telling you no it's almost there it's almost ready you're almost ready to go it's almost at completion you know stay positive stay passionate um and know it's okay to feel vulnerable but just know you're looking out and you're heading out into the right direction here with the three of wands wow opening your hot chocolate there so, wow, Virgo, a lot of messages here. So I hope they resonated for you. Um, so good luck to you, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.